Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Generation Tech, my name is Alan. So I just finished watching The Last Jedi and one thing that really intrigued me was Luke's new ability. Now guys, obviously if you haven't seen the film yet, there will be some spoilers in this video about The Last Jedi. So in the story, Luke was able to project his image across the galaxy and use it to interact with other people. This is something we've never really seen other Jedi do before in the canon films. In Legends, however, there are many abilities that fell underneath the category of Force Illusions. One of these powers was known as the Doppelganger. This allowed powerful users of the Force to create perfect illusions of themselves and other objects. In Legends, Luke was able to use this ability along with other powerful individuals like Count Dooku. Using the doppelganger power along with telekinesis, Force users were able to make their copies interact with their surroundings. That's probably how Luke was able to touch Leia and also give her a set of dice he had taken from the Millennium Falcon. Although those die end up being just another illusion and disappear after Luke does. But there are a few problems with that theory. One is the distance. Luke is on Achtu and his doppelganger is on Crate. They are extremely far away from each other. For this power to work, Luke would actually need to see the location where his copy is standing. In the past, Force users would use a holocam. This is how Vader chokes Ozzel in Empire Strikes Back, and this is how Thrawn gets choked out in Outbound Flight. If Luke couldn't really see Crate, then how is his copy able to duel Kylo Ren with such precision? My second theory is this. I first realized Luke wasn't physically at the fight scene during the duel with Kylo Ren when the camera angles clearly showed that Kylo's feet were creating red marks in the sand and Luke's weren't. I immediately thought it was him using a Force Spirit ability. We see Yoda appear in front of Luke as a Force Spirit earlier in the movie. And at least in this trilogy, Force Spirits seem to be much more opaque and realistic looking. So I thought it was very possible that either Yoda or Obi-Wan began teaching Luke this method while he was in exile. But then if we think about it, Luke doesn't really do anything during his exile. When Rey meets Luke, she couldn't even feel him in the Force, which means it's possible Luke even severed his attachment to the Force. Becoming a Force Spirit usually takes many years of practice and training. It's just not an easy thing to do, especially without practice. And then there's the question of whether Force Spirits can interact with physical objects. We do see Yoda strike the Force Cave with lightning, so I guess it is possible. And lastly, Luke is still alive, so how could he be a Force Spirit? So that's where my third theory comes in, and in order to explain that, I have to explain how the Force works. There are two aspects of the Force, the Living Force and the Cosmic Force. The Living Force surrounds us and is found in almost everything. It's the Living Force that midichlorians communicate with. By controlling the Living Force, Jedi, Sith, and other Force users are able to manipulate the world around them. All of this Living Force feeds into what's known as the Cosmic Force, which forms a structure and holds the galaxy together. When a Force wielder dies, their essence or spirit returns back to the Cosmic Force along with all their Living Force. But long ago, powerful Force users figured out a way to maintain their identity, even as their physical bodies disappeared. With their identity maintained, these individuals were able to interact with the living as Force Spirits. Because Force Spirits inhabited the Cosmic Force, they could pretty much go anywhere they wanted, and time wasn't as linear for them, so they could see the past and future with much more clarity. If Luke didn't learn how to become a Force Spirit from Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi, it's very possible that he learned it himself while in his search for Jedi artifacts and books. Maybe instead of becoming a full Force Spirit, Luke has simply began his transformation from the Living Force to the Cosmic Force. This allows at least part of his conscience to travel across great distances of space from Octu to Crate, where he is able to manipulate the Living Force to create an illusion of himself. That's why after using this power, Luke is completely drained. It's because he's essentially split his body into two. And then of course he just fades away and fully becomes one with the cosmic force. I think this gives a little more meaning to Luke's exile. After all, he did go searching for the first Jedi temple. He might as well have learned something on his journeys. And according to the legends, the original Jedi knew how to do some really crazy stuff. For instance, there was a whole school of Jedi that focused on alchemy. At one time, Jedi alchemists, who were basically wizards, could create life by manipulating the Force. Something that Darth Plagueis later figured out. So we don't really know what Luke could have learned from all the ancient Jedi texts while he was in exile. But it is a shame that he had to go because I'm sure he had some crazy Force powers and would have used them to do some crazy things. 
Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. And I'd also like to announce the winners of our Facebook t-shirt giveaway. Uh, the winners are Todd Fox and Jason Schultz. We'll be in touch with you guys shortly. Well, thanks for joining us today. If you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.